we are in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we are headed to the Bobblehead Hall of Fame. And when you're in the Bobblehead Hall of Fame, you gotta bring your own bobblehead. Look at this, the Santa's Chronicles one. Now, I wonder if I can get my bobblehead into their display case. Let's see how it goes. Welcome back, Argus Crew. You have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. Oh my goodness, look at all these bobbleheads. Oh, so much to look at. I didn't get past the display case. <laughs> Phil Schuyler and Brad Novak were the two that had the brainchild to create the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame. So what we heard was the owner is from the Rockford area, so that's why you'll see a lot of uh, Chicago Bears, even though we're in the land of the cheese here. Look at this, the coach, Mike Ditka. The Bears! We have about 7,000 bobbleheads here at the museum. 7,000. We have about 4,000 more in storage. To be honest, that number is probably higher, but I can safely tell you that it's at least 7,000 and at least 4,000. Famous Carl. Carl from Walking Dead. Carl. Carl! Carl! Look, it's Carl and Carl. <laughs> they have a scavenger hunt that you can do and fill out of a lot of the bobbleheads, and if you complete it, you get a prize. Now, on top of all of that information I just dumped on you, I also have a Where's Waldo bobblehead hidden around here somewhere. No way! An additional prize for finding, so feel free to keep your eyes open. Here's the game plan. We need to finish a scavenger hunt, find Waldo, and then get our Santos Chronicles bobblehead displayed in the case. This place is just rows and rows of bobblehead. I don't even know where to start. I don't have a good strategy. If they take him, it's gonna be kind of sad because I spent like four hours designing the hat. Look, he has a little logo. It's a Santos Chronicles bobblehead, but if we can get it displayed, I'm willing to donate it. <laughs> Here's the Chicago Bulls uh, with good old Derrick Rose. We have uh, Jimmy Butler, and the greatest of all time, I don't care what you say, Michael Jordan. So the National Bobblehead Hall of Fame didn't open until February 1st, 2019. One of the most important part, do not touch the bobbleheads or you could be banned, like Pete Rose. How far did you get so far? I have one done. <laughs> <laughs> right now I am obsessed with the show Better Call Saul from spinoff from Breaking Bad. You have Slip and Jimmy, Mike, Gus, oh, Hector. This is great. I really didn't know what to expect. The collection is pretty huge and they organize it by sections. For the Santos Chronicles, which section do we belong in? Is there a YouTube section here? And let's see if we can get it. Still not so sure about this. I like the Lion King one. This is the Woody one. And the Powerpuff Girls, SpongeBob, and I don't know who these are. Good news, Edison was able to search high and low and was able to finish the scavenger hunt. All right, two more to go. So Bobblehead was around since the 1760s. Uh, there was these Chinese nodding figures. Holy cow, I never knew Bobbleheads lasted that long. Oh, Carl, he's got Booberry. The Booberry, oh, from the cereal? And Frankenberry and Count Chocula. Here's the funny thing. They got Joe Biden and Kanye West in the same place. <laughs> if I could get anything, this is the one I would want. Bernie Sanders and Middens. Okay, what's the best way to do this, to find Waldo? Maybe just split it up and divide and conquer. Okay, you wanna do this side? I'll start on the other side, and maybe Melissa can get somewhere in the middle. As you guys know, I'm a huge UFC fan, and Addison said there's some oh. UFC section over here. So I found uh, one of Carl's favorites. Spam! <laughs> you remember, we went to the Spam Museum in Minnesota. There's bobbleheads of place we've gone to. So we've gone to the Home Alone house. We were just in the Empire State Building where Elf was filmed. The Christmas Story. Addison and I went to Cleveland uh, to see the Christmas Story house. And guys, we're not leaving here until we find Waldo. 
a wall though. We searched high and low. We walked around every single area several times, looking to see if we could find them tucked away. One thing for sure, Addison was determined. And before we knew it, she found them right over here, right in this little corner. Now time to get the prizes. You get some stickers and you can have a temporary tattoo. <gasps> for finding Waldo, you get a after we got the prizes, I walked around the Bobblehead Museum because I was a little bit nervous. I knew what I needed to do. Now, let's get you displayed somewhere. That's the one thing. I didn't know if that's because because we do have a YouTube channel. And so one of the things I'm trying to do is like, is it possible yeah, I'll give you. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. Yeah. to get to get it into oh, it might be happening. All right, guys, we are sadly we're going to be donating our Santa's Chronicles bobblehead. And we're here with the folks from the Bobblehead Hall of Fame. And we're actually able to put it right here for now. Look at that. Santa's Chronicles with James Dean and Mr. T. <laughs> that is awesome. You have made my day. Thank, thank you very much. Click on the end card below for more Milwaukee adventures.